hello friends in my this video i am going to show you how you can make sound using sign signal or any of your choice any signal of your choice okay so basically see step by step each line i will explain there are logical reasons why i will write that line and if you able to understand that then you can modify according to your choice okay so first let me clear all these there are close on clc now see first step first step what we do for defining one sign signal we generally do like this right ct is equal to 0 colon 0 0.01 colon 2 star pi x equal to uh, sign of t and then we simply write plot t comma x that's all right so basically if we get uh, run this what we will get we will get one in figure window one pure sine wave form we are getting now why i have taken increment value as 0 0.01 because yes i want to plot continuous signal so that i have taken increment very small okay so basically in computer everything is taken as discrete only so if you want to co uh, get continuous wave form then keep the uh, time sample gap very small so that's why i have taken very small increment 0 0.01 these basics already i have discussed several times in my previous videos anyway and also i have uh, shown you how the noise uh, sounds in matlab that is using sound uh, that, that is using sound we have uh, implemented this sound fun inbuilt function and similarly here also we are going to use sound only but see how we are implementing there are some logical uh, things are there logical concepts are there you have to understand so let me remove the plot part because i want to now play the sound so i am writing a uh, writing sound x okay now see you know that human ear there is a particular audible range that is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or like that okay so that to understand it properly we should define the frequency here we have not written in general format we have simply implemented sine t right generally what is the formula in terms of frequency if we want to write sine 2 pi f t or sine omega t where omega is equal to 2 pi f right these basic things you know right so 2 pi and frequency of your choice suppose let me give 400 hertz okay now see next step this is what about my sign signal generation right now this is not a continuous signal because i told you in computation nothing can be continuous so what we will do we will we have sampled here and this sample is basically gen in general terms what we write one by fs okay here one by fs we have taken as 0 0.01 so fs is, is equal to nothing but that is sampling frequency is nothing but uh, uh, 1 by 0 0.01 so that is if you calculate we have taken uh, implementation value of ts 0 0.01 right so 1 by fs equal to 0 0.01 so fs will be equal to 1 uh, divided by 0 0.01 one okay so if this is 100 for our case it was now you have to think logically here our frequency is 400 hertz so can if it's be 100 no it will become under sampled so uh, we have to follow the nyquist criteria and we have to keep minimum fs greater than equal to 2 fm okay that is minimum fs will be equal to 2 fm and if we keep fs greater than uh, 2 fm that will be good because oversampling is good only okay it will avoid all kind of aliasing concept so what we are going to do suppose let me take very high um, here uh, this is my um, f that is fm right that is message signal or input signal frequencies fm is 400 so 2 into 400 is 800 so i am taking far higher value than uh, 800 so that it will come into over sampling zone so suppose sorry for this uh, suppose let me take by uh, 22050 okay i have taken very high value for oversampling so that there is no aliasing uh, or aliasing can be removed as much as possible now sound x comma fs only you have to write so here fs you have used this one so just simply write here also okay so basically sorry sorry here 
control z yeah this is my 22050 and here also we have to write that that's all now we are ready to play so what are the logical explanations see generally we write t equal to 0 colon 0.01 colon 2 star by without any much thinking with a small increment we write the range but here you have to think logically because if you want to play human ear can uh, detect only on certain frequency range so you should define the frequency of your signal also so instead of sine t representation we are going to sign 2 pi f t here f we are defining 400 so f s must be greater than equal to 2 f m according to Nyquist rate uh, formula so that uh, f s must be greater than equal to 800 i have taken very high value as oversampling so 22050 okay so that obviously uh, or pakka it will be oversampled and now let us play hear the sound okay so this is the sign signal how it sounds like okay i hope you have understood this try to implement this kind of concepts in matlab you will find it very interesting and this will help you in your dsp related project course also this is all for my this video thank you for watching